Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'll just run you through the normal um, no social media activity during a press conference. Um, we'll just start with broadcast questions with Roger, then move on to the daily briefing, which is embargoed till 10.30 tonight. Roger, just go. Hi, Bruce. Hey, hello. Um, Yes, uh, uh, he trained well today. He's, uh, he's recovery from the virus that he got one day before the game against Southampton. And um, yes, but uh, I don't want to say nothing because if not, uh, you take uh, in a in different way. Because before the, the Southampton game, uh, I said, uh, because I think was the, the press conference five days before the game because it was Christmas, no? I don't want to disturb, disturb you. But um, he was recovering for his problem, his back. It's for that uh, he didn't play again Barney, but uh, he got a viral one day before. We can, we can do about that. And now he's recovering. And we hope that we'll be available for, for, <laughs> for what for. But today is okay. No, no, Lamela is still recovering uh, from his problem. He's, he's doing well, but uh, now we need to wait. Uh, he's recovering his fitness and his level. But uh, no, another, no, another problem. You've got Chelsea a few days after Watford as well. It's a quick turnaround between the two games. Do you, do you pick your side against Watford with perhaps Chelsea in mind as well? No, no, because I think for us it's a, the most important game is Watford. Uh, it's important... Uh, to try to reduce the gap with the top four, uh, on the end, uh, keep the same gap, and I think it's important. Um, no, I think we are. We need to be focused. We need to be focused in, in Watford because I think are the most important point now for us. Ten points behind Chelsea at the, at the moment, and everyone around you keeps winning as well. Even though you're, you're winning as well, is, is ten points almost too much even already at this stage? A, a too big a gap to, to, to perhaps over? I think that uh, it's a lot of uh, way uh, ahead. Um, um, I think it uh, will be tough for all the contender. Chelsea have a, um, a very good gap now, a big gap with the second and uh, 10 points with us. But, uh, but I think it's not decisive. Uh, we need to believe uh, uh, we are fighting for that to try to reduce the gap and, and we have sure a very good opportunity when we will play uh, with them. But first of all, we need to win. We need to win. We must win uh, again Watford, a uh, very important three point. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens with the another, another team that are, are uh, with us. But uh, it's a lot of a lot of uh, game ahead. Uh, it's nearly the half half season. Uh, it's a long way. It's got a couple of days, of course, until the, the window opens, and of course, Tottenham will be linked with another place. May I ask you about um, a name that's, that's come up in the last days, Ross Barkley? Um, is there is there an interest there? Is he a player that, that you admire? No, you know, always uh, appear a lot of names, uh, a lot of rumour in that period. Um, I don't like to speak about, about names, about rumours. <laughs> We're always going to keep on asking that. I mean, Isco is another one as well. You had interest in him before, and it seems the future is uncertain. I mean, if there is an availability there for Isco, is he a player you're, you're still interested in? About? Isco. No, yes, it was another rumour in, in, in summer that... Uh, that they like another another name, uh, but they are in, in, in their clubs. And I think I don't like to talk about rumor because I cannot confirm uh, or not, or yes, if we are interested or not. I, I think that is, uh, we need to be professional and uh, we need to do our job. Uh, you know that we are always open to try to add quality in our, uh, in our squad. And, but to talk about names or rumour, I think it's not, uh, it's not professional. Do you expect to bring people, either one player, two players in before the January window? No, 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 no. I don't expect to do some business because I am happy with the squad that, that we have. And um, I think it's not the right moment. Only if appears some possibility that, that will benefit us. If not, no. The sort of players that people are mentioning, the likes of Barkley, the likes of Isco, the sort of attacking, creative midfielder, I mean, 
Would that be an area where that isn't a priority, given the form that uh, Yisrael Deli Ali is in at this point? Yes, it's for that. I don't know if, uh, uh, from where come that uh, come uh, that that rumor. I is not sure for my my myself or for my staff that is sure. And then if some people from the club create that rumor, I I I don't know. Uh, or if coming from outside, I don't know. It's for that we are very calm, very consistency with our uh, philosophy and, our, and the way that we are developing the, uh, our our uh, our our game and. Do you know, we cannot stop the rumor and we cannot confirm this every time that appears one rumor if it's true or not true, you know. Just on Deli Ali, Ali and his form, I mean, some people earlier in the season saying he perhaps hadn't recaptured the form of last season, but would you say in the last couple of weeks he's perhaps hit his highest levels again? Well, I was happy with him. Only, do you know, the young player need to, uh, every day, to try to improve, to get more experience. I think the Liali have a big potential, potential to to improve, and I think uh, it is impossible to keep the same level and the level that he was playing, uh, that was very high, uh, whole season. Sometimes you have some, uh, you, you can drop your your performance, but no doubt about that he is and he will be one of the best players in the next 10, 12 years on, on England. Just in terms of when we talk about potentially whether there'll be players coming in, going out, I mean, there's been talk of, of Kevin Wimmer who hasn't been playing a huge, huge amount. Is he going out on loan at all? Or is he no, no, no. We are not talking about that internally. And for me, I am happy with him. Uh, he's uh, still very young. Uh, when uh, we bring him, was not only for present, if not for future. And um, uh, we are very happy with him. It's, it's not my point to do, to discuss about about him. Uh, and do you see a situation where there, there could be players going out in the, in the transfer window? I mean, you said you're happy with this. I don't expect. Uh, I don't expect that the player uh, go out to the to the squad on on, on January. I think no sense. It's no sense. Okay. Uh, Mauricio, we were listening to Arsene Wenger this morning. He said that the first half of the season in general for the Premier League has been rather disappointing in terms of the quality of the matches overall. Would you agree with him that this has been a, a slightly below par Premier League season? Uh, first of all, I, I, I didn't hear his uh, press conference and I cannot uh, speak about uh, the thing that uh, I, didn't, I didn't see. And uh, for me, the Premier League is the most tough competition my opinion always is difficult. I think the quality is is good here, and um, but and then everyone can have the the opinion and uh, and you need to respect all all the opinion. But uh, well, my point of view, for me, the Premier League is the most tough competition. Uh, I come from Spain. I was in France. Uh, I, I I follow the different competition like uh, Bundesliga or Italy or Argentina. And I think England, uh, we are on the top. Halfway through the season, how would you rate Spurs' performance in the Premier League? Would you say that it has been OK, good or excellent? I don't know. It's up to you how they want to to uh, qualify, qualify? Charge. Eh? Charge. Charge. The, 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 the season. I don't know. I don't know. To be fair, it's difficult to, to charge. Uh, if we compare with uh, last season, in that point, we have um, four, more, uh, four more, more points than last season, but we are uh, fifth. Last season, we were four. Maybe the people can have different opinion, maybe better or maybe worse. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think that uh, for different reasons that we know uh, inside, I think the, the season in a fair period of the, of, the, of the season, I think we feel disappointed because we are out of the, the Champions League and that we cannot uh, hide them, hidden, hidden. But um, I think in Premier League, we are doing well. We can do better, of course. Uh, we are ambitious, of course, and we, we can improve, yes. Uh, but I think that season, uh, the expectation was massive on the beginning. 
and to be out of the Champions League is, is a little bit disappointing, not only us, uh, if not our supporter too, and maybe that uh, feeling is, is not so good, maybe how show the, the numbers, because I think in 2016, uh, I think we broke the record and 71 point, and I think we can, we can be happy, but for different reasons, it's, it's not 100% uh, the, the full happiness, no? There's been another story overnight of linking Cristiano Ronaldo with, us. with China, not, ah, with, oh. not with you, but with going to <laughs> China or a, a big bid which Real Madrid has turned out. Um, should the Premier League be worried about losing some of its best players to China? I think no. I think no. I think no, because if the player they have in their mind to move to China to play, I think it's because it's they, they don't uh, have nothing to do here. Okay, because I think uh, you can, can't, can't compare uh, both leagues. Only you can move for different reasons that you know all and we know all. And if you don't want to to be uh, in the best uh, league of the world and to be competitive and feel the competition is because in your mind you want you you consider uh, different thing before to play football but that is i respect all the the decision but it's for that we cannot be worried but is there not a day when the amounts of money will turn people's heads players heads to think that i can earn so much by going to play there that i will be Yes, but that is a personal matter and personal decision. Do you know? The people, we have all different um, uh, vision about life, about money, about enjoying life and happiness and d different things. And you cannot uh, be inside to the, the people that uh, pick one or another way. It's for that is. My point of view, myself, I never will move to another league for for money. I like to be here maybe for less money, but that is, I respect how the people respect my opinion. I respect the different opinion no? and decision. Okay. Andy. Um, are you presumably happy that the FA won't be taking any action against Yan for China? Yeah, but it was an action, I think, the the clip maybe, uh, and the first moment you can see, okay, maybe it was intentional, but it was intentional. And the reaction of the of Shea Rodriguez, I think, was uh, he was very fair play with with Jean, and then they talk, and and uh, was an action that um, wasn't uh, maybe it looks bad, but in, uh, after that, I think when you review again, was an action that maybe uh, you don't don't realize and. And um, no, happy that any action from from the FA Cup, from the FA, sorry, um, to to Shan, and I think uh, I want to say uh, um, that the behavior of Che Rodriguez, and the fair play, like a teammate or like a player, was was fantastic. Is that something we need to see more of in football? Just players getting on with it, not making. Yes, but do you know it's it's too difficult to keep calm in that moment. And, uh, but it's true, yes. Uh, in football, we need more chest, chest action like this to try to understand both both sides. But sometimes it's difficult. Eh? I, I understand too when some players behave different. No? Lovely. Any more broadcast questions? No. Nope. The camera's off, please. Thank you. Thank you.